This segment, we're going to talk about multiple firefighters exiting a single window uh, as a last resort, in other words, stacking their hooks. Now, one of the issues we have, if you look at guys' systems, we have the hooks tied on uh, versus stitched on. So that barrel knot, okay, that scaffold knot that we use is bulky. And when you're stacking hooks as a last resort bailout for multiple firefighters, one of the problems is once you start to get over two hooks, you get that third hook in place, there's a lot of rocking on that last hook. And that rocking can actually displace the hook from its contact point on the wall in the corner of the window. So we're going to show you what that looks like, and then we're going to show you an alternative option that can make a multiple firefighter bailout safer. All right, first firefighter comes up. You have to be diligent with hook placement. We're going with flat orientation, which is the preferred method for us. Drives it, rolls out, and a training evolution, he stays standing and rotates to the left, or his right, to keep or make room for the second firefighter. Driving that hook, holding it, See how it's starting right now to pivot up? And this is what we want to show you as I do a close-up on this. We're dealing with those barrel knots interfering with each other, creating that teeter-totter or rocking effect. You start to get into this situation, Mac is not going to be able to stack hooks anymore. He's going to have to go to a vertical orientation, which is really, really sketchy, okay, especially without a projected sill, but it's something that you practice nonetheless. Trying to hold that down. Again, guys, what causes problems when we're stacking hooks is the, the barrel or scaffold knot that we have, okay? And some people use a poacher's knot, but it rocks on these. Now, the question that might come up is, why don't we just put one firefighter on this side and then bring another hook here? The problem with that is if this firefighter does a right side anchor, and now these are in place, and these guys are still descending, his leg could sweep in and disengage these hooks. So if it's one small window with all firefighters exiting, we try to put all the hooks on one side. You can see the problem that we encounter when we go two or more hooks. So we're going to show you a variation where the boss can take the Halligan bar now and use that as the main anchor, and now we can place the hooks on that, which is a safer operation. Okay, in this evolution, we're going to have three firefighters exiting off their anchor hooks, but instead of stacking hooks in the corner, we're going to have the boss place the Halligan bar, and we're going to anchor off of that. That gives us three points of contact. You have the blade of the adds, you have the point, and then you have the blade of the fork all biting into the wall. So if this was a masonry wall, definitely a much better way to go. But when you have tied on anchor hooks and you have those scaffold knots or poacher knots, those bear knots that you're dealing with, this is a safer operation. Ideally, boss is last one out and we take the cub as the first one out. So we'll show you how that works. Smack being the boss, places that Halligan bar in the corner, bites all those three points of contact, tries to drive it in. First firefighter comes up, places his hook right on the bar, and exits. Second firefighter now, it doesn't matter. He's just going to place it right on top. That firefighter exits. Now, hold it right there, guys. At this point, these two firefighters would probably still be descending. At least the second firefighter would if this was a second floor or third floor window. So they're actually creating tension now and holding the bar in place, which allows the boss to let go and then stack his or her hook. Notice that when I do a close-up on those scaffold knots that we have tying in the flash two hooks, that they're a non-issue now when they're biting on that bar. So we could literally go three, four, five guys off of this bar without an issue. Go ahead, Mac. Nice. Great about this is we have three points of contact on the Halligan bar and we don't have to worry about the hooks teeter-tottering or rocking out of, out of position. But what we need is a fascia adjacent to the side of that window frame big enough that we can place that bar roughly on a 45, we're on a steeper angle than that, but roughly in that position so we get good bite and, and secure placement of that Halligan bar. Boss is kneeling, getting out of the way. He can let go now once that system's hooked. He's getting his system out ready to go because the weight of the first firefighter is holding that hook into place. Nice. Let me take a look at the hooks. Outstanding. You can see that they're all getting a pull on a level plane of the sill plate, which is important, which doesn't pull that bar out of position.